By many measures, the new administration has been a shot of adrenaline for the economy. The new president pushing U.S. companies to keep more jobs in the country, approving long-delayed pipeline projects, and promising infrastructure improvements which could inject a trillion dollars into American industry over the next 10 years. We are going to lower taxes on American business so it's cheaper and easier to produce product and beautiful things like airplanes right here in America. The stock market rose more in President Trump's first month than it has for any other new president since LBJ. How much credit he deserves is debatable, but consumer confidence already growing under Barack Obama is still climbing too. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. On key issues for his party, he's kept his word, picking a conservative Supreme Court nominee, pressing ahead with talk of repealing and replacing Obamacare, even though details are lacking, cracking down on immigration, and still preparing for a wall on the Mexican border. His supporters are thrilled. We the people, all movement, is the reason why our president of the United States is standing here in front of us today. But President Trump's first month has also seen streets flooded with protesters infuriated by his policies. His already low approval rating has dropped even lower. His travel ban aimed at seven largely Muslim nations has been derailed by the courts, leaving him lashing out while working on a rewrite. The new order is going to be very much tailored to the what I consider to be a very bad decision. The abrupt departure of his national security advisor prompted reports of chaos in the White House and fears of Russian ties. His foreign policy statements have raised alarms abroad, but most of all, the administration has suffered from unforced errors, a tendency to make false statements, to conflate personal and political concerns, and to blame it all on someone anyone else. What we've been through over the last 10 days has been unbelievable. The leaks, the fake stories, the anonymous accusations, that stuff is bad.